Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with another tutorial. Yeah? The last time we talked about all the tools and these layers and some of the basics in Photoshop. For YouTubers, uh, how they're using for Photoshop is most probably they're using for make creating uh, exciting thumbnails in Photoshop. So I'm gonna teach you how to create thumbnails as well. So before that, let me go through all the tools and let's see how it works. And here we go. And here the here my layer. I'm just gonna unlock this. Uh, if you double click on that, it will ask for a new layer. You just press on OK, it will unlock. I will, I will, like that, I'm gonna undo that. And if you click on that, if you click on here, there's a small uh, lock lock icon right here. You can click on that, you will get rid of that lock. And if you want to lock that, you just click lock. It's locked now. Click on one more time. It's unlocked okay well we have our photo so for this uh, I'm gonna create my I'm go to my image go to canvas size okay it's pretty high canvas size I'm gonna make this one 1920 1080 so go with uh, this uh, resolution or 1080p HD so don't go with the crazy in YouTube we have some restrictions maybe 2 MB more than 2 MB we can't we can't upload our uh, thumbnail in YouTube so I'm making a very small file 192000 is a pretty uh, good format a good size to go with it uh. I'm just gonna press OK and proceed and we have like that so now if you see here the image is taking only small amount of the part only this much part if you want to fix that one you just click on that and control T and see we have this much area is left in our photo so because our canvas size is 1920100 but our picture size is 4k something like that so I'm gonna click on here and then just scale it down so if you are using older version if you click and then if you extend this one it will it won't extend evenly you need to hold on shift and then you need to extend that one so after that maybe they change with a with the shift it's not even uh, i don't know uh, they did some crazy thing in for a shelf in adobe okay i'll keep it up to here maybe that is a pretty good position maybe somewhere around here i'm gonna press ok to fix that so now it's fixed well uh, for thumbnails most of the most of the time we are removing the background we don't want the background to show that one sometimes we like the background but some cases we don't like the background to remove that background we have uh, several ways to remove that so if you click on image and then if you go to select tool uh, quick selection tool just click on that if you are using new version of Photoshop we have a new option called sele select subject so if you plus uh, click that one see it's, it's good pretty it is it did a pretty good job uh, it's a uh, it, it's a fixed 80 percent it's a uh, selected 80 percent uh, but we need to choose this one manually so uh, still we have in selection tool if you uh, press an alt button and then right click and then drag up and uh, drag left and right side you will get the size of the icon how much size you want brush size you want smaller or you, can, you want a big size so i'm gonna go with uh, up to there and then i'm gonna click here and then let's extend this one up to this much we don't need that perfect perfection in uh, for thumbnails we are not doing any of the storyboard or something like that to create exactly perfect i'm gonna zoom here we just hold an alt and then scroll down and up to get the zoom so i'm gonna make this one a little smaller and then i'm gonna try to join this one and then if you press an alt button you, you can still minus that so i'll go with roughly okay this edge i'm not I'll, i need to fix this edge okay that's fine and uh, i want this one this is shadow so i'm gonna minus this one i don't want this area 
okay i will minus this one as well okay pretty good and slightly this area slightly gentle gentle don't go with the crazy like that you'll get some crazy options in there and i'll go with a very gentle very gentle smooth it is like ice candy so we need to eat a small amount of ice cream you can't eat it is a freeze our brains okay there, there's some problem going on here so i'm gonna minus this one as well okay it's fixed and and this area we don't want this area i'm gonna zoom this one and i'm gonna I'm gonna minus this area as well okay it's almost fixed don't worry about the edges we don't want the edges we are anyhow we are making something new in that so I'm gonna plus this one we want this edge a little bit okay we have some problem here I, I want the edge as well go with a very small amount right there if you click here okay that's pretty good okay don't worry about the air this is not part of removing the air in photoshop this is our making this is for simple for photoshop for youtubers uh, for advanced i will show you that advanced level also don't worry about that one so i'm gonna minus this area because this is also subject so that's why photoshop is selected uh, this subject as well but i we don't want the subject i'm gonna minus this part okay okay that's pretty good okay and we don't want this part as well i'm just pressing alt button and then i'm just minus i'm just dragging this one up to this area so okay that's okay we're gonna fix that one afterwards and this one as well okay pretty good looking good looking good and here okay that's great okay uh, we did 90% uh, of the job in that so we need to fix small small things in afterwards so uh, next what I will do do not enter anything or uh, do not press ctrl J or something to duplicate that so I'm gonna select this and then go to if you see here add layer mask and just click on layer mask see voila we get rid of the background but still we have the controls that is the beauty of this layer mask so if you duplicate that one with a control j we can't re uh, we don't have that flexibility or we have we don't have that controls in that to control that one so here we have i'm gonna create one new background okay i'm gonna bring that is down and i'm gonna fill with uh, some other black color mm. okay i'll go with the black color no problem with that okay uh, black color is okay so if you, we have here layer masked here so what i will do i want some of the information to bring out we need to remove some of the information as well so i'm gonna click on this layer here you can see the small icon right here if you right click on that one disable layer mask if you disable that one see we have still that options so again right click and enable the layer mask so we want the layer mask so let's go to the brush tool right here i'm gonna click on brush tool and right click and go with the hard one not the soft one we don't want that too much soft the brush size is uh, too heavy now a little bit big not heavy so for that we need we can if you press on that the open bracket and close bracket right in your keyboard uh, is uh, located near to the o and p if you press on that one we have still extend that one and then or else if you press an alt button and then just uh, drag left side and right side we have that option to uh, get that size so i'm going to zoom this one a little bit and so here the trick so if we if we want to remove this one we need to fill with the black so if you want to remove this we need to keep this one we need to fill with a white so that is the concept here so white is the visible black is uh, non-visible so currently we have one white so if i remove that one see we are, we can see that one that up that depth 
what we have so in this case i want to fill with a black so here we want to fill with a black so what i will do i'm going to i'm going to flip this one to flip that press an x button will flip that one if you press on d so unfortunately if i selected some other colors right here okay and press on x and select any other color so we have some random okay what the hell is going on okay now we have filled with some other different colors to bring back to normal or default you just press d and you will photoshop so it will bring back the normal so we have so for x it's a flipping the positions and background and foreground and we need to fill with a black i'm gonna press an x button to get the black color right here so whatever we have in the foreground that will apply to the brush tool or any other you selected in your photoshop so i'll select this layer mask here do not don't forget to select this one do not select this one it will paint black color right here we don't want that one so select this layer mask and then gentle so i'm gonna press default x we have black now and then just get rid of that so it's a very sharp now if you want you can go with a little uh, softness maybe this one make this small see we can see when you are zooming out okay this is the uh, strength is 50% uh, press tool see we will get something like that soft so if you don't want soft color you will go with a hard one ok so I'm gonna roughly I will go with a rough edit so I removed that part and we have some gunk here if you saw here closely we have some gunk I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this as well okay we get rid of that and okay and this part also as well like just refining that okay here we have some problem right here because of uh, my t-shirt color and it uh, merged with the background but i can still i can see there is a t-shirt right here so i can roughly i can guess that one and then i can remove from here like that okay i remove that and uh, i remove that part and let's go here we go You can make a, a brush size is a little bit big and then you can remove that you can still remove that one i think i'll move up to here if you zoom out see we have nice sharp uh, and i think this part is a little bit grating uh, a little bit we removing a little bit so i'm gonna press on x and then okay that's fine it's color is perfect and press X fill with the black and refine this edge as well so this is a one process we have another process as well that is uh, we are going with a pen tool so that is a different option and okay uh, I think that's okay okay we need to refine here as well press x default x fill with a black color let's go with a little higher too easy to get rid of this one okay roughly we don't want that perfection mm, because I'm too lazy. Okay, we here we have we have some of the gunk here. 
So I'm gonna remove that gunk. Okay. So we remove that gunk as well. And then I, I bring back this area a little bit. And that's okay, that gunk. And the results, okay, okay, we have a little bit here. Something going on. Okay. And here. And okay, here we don't want this part actually. This is a background. So I'm going to remove this part up to here like that. Make this big. And remove that. Okay. Pretty good. Looking good. So okay, once uh, once I refined all these things, I'm gonna press press this one and then press this layer, control and and hold down control and then click this layer here. Refine, uh, sorry, not refine. What is that called? Uh, layer mask. Sorry, layer mask. So we will get selection like that. Okay. Uh, once you click that one, I'm gonna create one more layer here. I'm gonna right click and then stroke. I'll go maybe white stroke in that. So we are adding extra stroke right here for thumbnails. You can see that one. It's very popular nowadays. I'll go with the white color, full white color. If you want to, if we can select any of the colors, something like pink color or anything. And uh, six points is okay. If you want more big, very big, thin, you can go with a high with crazy numbers so select outside not the inside okay and once you selected this options this is normal bending more and then press ok and then if you control press and control d see we have this edge nice edge right here okay uh, in this case we don't want here i'm gonna go to erase tool we have erase tool right here and i'm gonna remove that part Oh, actually there is a bag I'll, I'll go to my layer mask and then I'm go to breast tool and fill, fill with a white color go to erase tool and remove that part okay pretty good looking good that's great and if you want to change the color we can change that color Okay, so we have individual layers now. This is the individual layer and this is the individual layer. So that is our border. So to get merge that one, you can right click and then you can merge that right here, merge layer. So it will merge the layer. So now it's uh, one layer. Okay, so if, if you don't want to merge and if you don't want to lose anything, you just click both and then group here so that will group the layers both layers so that is uh, i will call right click and then if you go to the rename if you double click on here we'll get the rename option so i will say this one and uh, character or object so whatever if you, you you can call that one so okay so we got this one so I'm going to go to my selection tool and then so I need okay select this control T make sure we selecting the both and press OK and okay we have this much area now and we need to type something text uh, for that I'm going I'll go to my text tool and then let's start type something okay what I will do I will cameraman camera man okay I will type like that and control T so once you've typed so if you can see right here that is a AA or else you can see still we can see here so I'm gonna go with the A I already chosen my font if you click here we can select our font which font you want it is some, something like similar similar like Microsoft Office you can choose any font a, which font you want so I'll go with the monocellar art and I'll go with uh, bold black extra black and bold extra boldness right here 
and then if you want narrow you can go with the narrow but i don't want narrow so and you can change the color as well uh, i'll go with the white color maybe this is attractive color and uh, if you want tracking options if i go to here so if you extend that one see it's stretching a little bit stretching wide wide so i don't want any wide stretch and if you click on this one see we have characters individual characters space in between so i don't want that one as well so i'm gonna undo that one if you want you can use that one i'm showing you that so right here so if you press that one so it will shift the basement of this one so in this case i don't want any basement shift also and matrix layout but this one and this is also same thing stretching this way i don't want this stretch that and this is the basement options so once you selected this part imagine i'm gonna select this part or is this part if we ship this one so still we can ship that one a basement base ship this is called base ship i'm gonna undo that one i don't want to ship that one okay this is looking looking a little interesting i'm gonna shift here like that cameraman like that okay a little interesting i'm gonna select this one and then drop it somewhere around here okay size is okay and then if you zoom a little bit okay so uh, once we have this one we can we can arc this one as well so if you click on this one go right click convert to uh, rest or something option here rasterize size so once I, I once i click that one so it would become rasterized now see this image is changed so if i undo that one now it's a text tool if i go to right click and then if you rasterize type so now it's a different it's like image and then if you control t and then if you go to the warp and then still we can do whatever i want so i can make like that cameraman very nice thumbnail like that and i'm gonna select this one and do it whatever you want crazy thing like that and press enter and if you control t it will select the area this area which layer you selected and then right click and then we have scale option rotation skew and distort perspective and warp warp is uh, we can change however we want you can select this point and then you can do like that it is like mesh so it's a cool option in photoshop and just press enter and then if you feel like the image is uh, very normal so you can still we can go with something like PewDiePie style if you click click on this one and then go to filter and we have some of the effects here if you go to the liquify so we'll get some of the options okay right here we got some of the options so if you want to make this nose big you can do that one we have stretch option here and, and another thing we have some extra options okay we have your face tool this is a new tool in photoshop i didn't see this one in previous versions so this is a very pretty cool oh we have size also controls also here so if you control with this one see our uh, eye is making big size so you can go zoom and hold space bar you'll get the pan option so we have some of the points right here we can make it how big we want how small you want if, if you want you can make it small something like that controls mm, but i don't want this any controls okay we have face also okay we have nose we can ship that one however we want this is some crazy options okay and this is this is a forward warp tool you can select and then you can you can shift like that like that there's a guy he's watching you can shift like that hold and then bam hold 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 like that the PewDiePie is doing <laughs> much something like this is doing much of the thumbnails like that 
He's taking the tool and then go with the crazy. Take this tool, bam, bam. Like that. <laughs> that is something like crazy tools in Photoshop. So I don't, in this case, uh, if you want, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna undo that, undo, okay, it's bring back to the normal. And we have this option here, um, what is it called, blot tool. You select that one and then press here like that. See how, how, how what is, what is doing. If you zoom out, see what is doing, it's making me a zombie. So you still we can do that one some of the crazy things in <laughs> um, liquify tool we have so many options in for in older version we don't have these many options now we have auto face detection and some of the extra tools these are total new tools smudge tool and all the things i'm gonna undo this one so if you press on ok it will update this effect or if you close the cancel button it won't affect this uh, effect in Photoshop so I don't want any effect in that I'm just gonna press cancel or just I'm showing you if you want you can use that one and in this case the color is very flat in this so the image is a little bit washed out so I need to bring that color back so I'm going to go to image and adjustment layer and if we go to the curves okay so I'm gonna create one more point here and one more point here curves is a, a color uh, color management tool so i'm gonna increase a little bit highlights this is the highlights this part is a highlight so you can see still see here and this is the shadows and this is the midtones highlights means uh, whatever lights coming from this area you can see there is a white white kind of thing that is a highlights and shadows means I think you know the shadows uh, whatever this area so light it's this area so it's reflected and then this area is uh, black colored so there is a shadows is created so this is controlled with the shadows right here so I'll go with a little low, low and and this is a yes curve I created I'm gonna go with the mid tones as well a little bit high something like press ok and then let's go to adjustment layer and uh, exposure we want to fix the little bit of exposure this is uh, very dull in this i'll go a little, little exposure like that and the offset not required and the gamma correction maybe i'll go two. Oh, sorry undo gamma is wrong adjustment layer exposure or maybe 0.5 or oh, undo so in this case is we need to go low maybe 0 0.8 0 0.7 okay maybe fine 9 is okay 0 0.9 okay uh, still okay this is okay I'll just press OK and then go to image and then adjustments. We have some of the tools, color correction tools, all these are the color correction tools. I'll go to my levels and I need to increase a little bit darkness and then I, I, I need to increase a little bit colors. okay uh, go to the red channel and then increase that color so this is the dull option is this the lighter side and then you can use these options to play with just play with this one go and drop it wherever you want maybe i'll i'll drop it here and i will go with uh, this is contains some of the brown color or something and they'll go with the green color let's see what is the green affecting i don't have any green channels right here to affect that okay i don't want much green skin have very less greens press okay that's okay and i want some of the contrast in this one 
so i'll go to brightness and contrast so i will increase little bit of contrast little bit of brightness yeah that's okay press okay and now it's okay now now we can see the text right here and the character as well uh, but the background is a little bit uh, dull dull in this background so i'm gonna go to my internet i'm gonna go to my internet and crazy background i'm gonna just type like that okay and um, okay uh, what i will what i will type photograph photography this is a photography photography background photography background okay this is looking interesting i'm gonna copy this okay this is from Shutterstock. i don't care i'll just paste this one select and then paste what happening okay let's download this one save image save and drag and drop into my photoshop and keep this one underneath and control t make this one big like that so i'm gonna stretch this one like that okay that's pretty good so that is my background i think i need to change some of the color in that background i'm gonna go to adjustment layer and uh, i'll go to brightness and contrast i'm gonna increase a little bit of contrast and press ok mm, now it's looking good so i will blend two colors in that one let's see what i can blend that i'm gonna i'm gonna take this one save image as okay this is won't save that and uh, okay i'll take this one save image as Pooh, drag and drop okay t control t make this one as a big size okay i'm taking some of the rail track in this case <laughs> it's changed something okay uh, now we have here two layers we can blend that one with using blending options if you click on here this normal to multiply token and we have some of the options here we can click that one and then we can change that linear color and some of the options we have okay this is looking good multiply okay okay there we go our thumbnail is ready if you want you can go with some of the crazy options if you zoom out this one up to there we need to read this what what we are saying this is a cameraman okay cameraman something camera is taking some of the camera that means uh, this is some related to photography or camera settings or something like that so go with something like that so here we made our thumbnail with the options yeah that is how we are making thumbnails and uh, um, next in the next tutorials will, will, i'll go to some other advanced tool to cut out the image and then go with a little bit of professional not like uh, today whatever we did we can go with this one also this is very quick and easy way to do that one mm, so many people they're doing same way so that's why i shown you that one as well quickly and uh, that's it for now and i'll see you later